podcast. I love recording uh, these videos and you can listen to them however you want. But my problem is, is the wind. Mondays and Fridays by this hunk of a chiseled stone in the fashion of a fucking whatever the fuck. Walk in this place, it's nice and quiet most of the time. There aren't many people around sometimes. And uh, this is going to be a short episode. I love training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I love uh, training mixed martial arts and Muay Thai. It's nice. It's very, 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 very nice. It's very nice. And hey, there you go. Do you want a deeper description? Um, listen, to someone else talk about it. What can I teach? What can I teach people about? Uh, but I don't, I don't, I'm not the one to teach beginners. I'm not the one to teach beginners. I could. I could say, like, uh, make sure you're bouncing, but then be careful as well. Don't get in, uh, don't get caught in a corner. Don't uh, leave your uh, shots. When when you throw a punch, don't let it go down to your hip or bring it back to your chin. Uh, cover up after uh, an exchange. Make sure you don't move into their power hand. Make sure you're not uh, standing with your legs together. And when you kick, you don't uh, plod forwards with your legs. You don't like drop your leg forwards and have yourself off balance. Always be in balance. If they're better than you, then uh, be, uh, you gotta be very, very careful and crafty. And to- talking about, uh, now, let's talk about some kickboxing. John Wayne Parr is that the guy who recently got uh, finished. He uh, he got knocked down a bit in the fight. It was against uh, another high-level, I think, kickboxer from uh, a Danish kickboxer. But that, that fight was really cool. It had some really cool moments in it. It's uh, you know it's always a bit of a shame to see legends getting. Uh, stopped and uh but it's uh it's it's also very interesting we all wish i think uh, when when you're a legend you're you're like fuck i wish i was young <laughs> i wish i was young again with all the knowledge that would be nice it would be nice to uh hopefully with uh technology today medical technology we can prolong uh athletes careers but it is also life. I think there's going to be a lot of people who say that it's playing with... Uh, I I never understood the people. I, I, well, they're religious. Maybe I'm not religious, so I don't... Uh, so I don't think like them. But... Uh, uh, open says me. One hand. Okay. You want to hear me talking, you don't get anything. You don't get a damn thing. It's supposed to be a podcast. Dead air. All the air is dead. It's a chemical attack. And I'm not saying anything. I'm not even making funny jokes. I'm just saying uh, stuff that I think is smart. And you have to begrudgingly listen to that. Every, every time I uh, take a step, I'm taking steps over here, going down like this path. Every time I take one of these steps, I, I'm thinking like, this is where I uh, step on the loose stone and I, I do a triple backflip onto my neck. Hey, we didn't do any slams in uh, today's lesson. I got to roll with one of my fucking boys, uh, Sam Diplock. And uh, he's a fucking purple belt. It's always fun. It's always fun to roll with a belt higher than you, 
with someone who has more skills than you and uh, to learn some stuff and uh, enjoy a good fucking session of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I can't wait until next month when everything's back to normal and I'm getting healed in the fucking head and I'm getting slammed on my fucking spine. Can't wait. As long as I get to learn some stuff. And uh, there's a guy's name at my gym as well that I need to remember. I'm, I'm, I'm fucked with names. It took me ages to learn uh, a guy's name called Carl, who uh, <laughs> I've, I've, uh, I've said some dumb things to Carl. And he's a good guy. And uh, he's a big man. He's a big man. He's great for training. He's like a, he a natural heavyweight. He probably has to cut down to be heavyweight. And uh, yeah, so I need to remember Jordan. I need to remember George. I need to remember a whole bunch of names. These are people that I'm going to be... Uh, ooh, talking about the future now. All of my dreams and aspirations. I talk about, uh, you know, the recent Danny Elfman uh, song that he put out in April 11th, uh, where some of the lyrics are, we talk about uh, dreams and aspirations or things like that, but it's a, it's a very dark music video, and it's a very dark subject matter, talking about the future, talking about our wants and hopes in life. in a bleak way now death comes for us all and I come on you all y'all howdy partner sir I'd just like to tell you real quick I got a massive penis thank you very much sir ma'am good evening ma'am would it be alright if I just put my penis right here <laughs> fucking instant sexual assault in, I, I, I don't even have any money to pay for anything. Instant jail time. Would it, would it be all right, ma'am? Hey, ma'am. What is it, young little boy? Is it all right if I... What is it, young man? Is it... Fucking yeah. making noises. <laughs> Quick, check if anyone's around. Okay, it's time for me to sit down in a place where I think is uh, secluded. A nice little bench dedicated to... Vernon Strafford, who was born in 1944 and died in 2015. And I, oh, uh, I had a little creak when I sat on, on my fat ass down on this motherfucker. I've got an eight pound weight vest, a uh, pound, I got an eight kilogram weight vest. I got this fucking bag. David Goggins, where are you? I, I just see that, like, David Goggins runs by and he says, sitting down. Pussy, and then he keeps on running. And I, I, I put, I throw the iPad on the ground, and I just put my hands in over my eyes and just explode out tears. And he, and he runs back. He, he's like, he moonwalks backwards. And David Goggins says uh, some sort of witty thing or some some sort of alpha thing that he usually says. He takes my blue belt, he strings it up on a tree, he doesn't even hang me, he says, Now get in the, get in the motherfucker! And I have to put it around my own neck, and then he strangles the fuck out of me. He, uh, I wake up, and all my money's gone. I don't have much money, I only have like four pounds, five pounds, but that won't stop people from robbing me. I've been robbed for way less. Pennies. Those dirty little hoovers. Don't ever trust anyone from Europe. Don't ever trust a woman from Europe that's come to England to work. Those dirty little hoovers will fucking steal anything. I'll take it all. Fucking man. I'll take everything except for my cum. Because apparently that's not allowed. I've made uh, some... I, I've been... I, I'm always writing. I'm, I'm writing a book. I'm writing music. I'm trying to sing, I'm trying to work on like uh, speed and uh, ability and like listenability, like not being a monotone piece of shit like I am in these videos. Ah, fucking. And it's gone better.
is going better. I feel better. But do I feel better in every way of my life? I, I get injuries here and there. I get like sore sorenesses on my muscles and my ligaments and my joints and shit like that depending on what I'm doing. But nothing like Chris Weidman snapping his fucking uh, calf around uh, Uriah Hall's uh, foot. Uriah Hall's fucking shin. And Anderson Silva did his left one. Chris Weidman did his right one. I don't even believe it. I don't even believe it that that happened. But it did happen. And uh, Whaley getting uh, left head kicked so fast by uh, Rose. Fuck Rose. Fuck Rose was throwing out. Uh, imagine if uh, you were a trainer for Fuck Rose and she, uh, she chose you to be her fiance. It could have been you. It could have been me. It could have been any of us. But it had to be that guy. I don't even... What would my life be if Fug Rose was my wife? First of all, I'm not marrying because I don't want to have the government uh, interfere in my life any more than it already does. Having the police fucking kick... Uh, literally kick down my door at 12 at night and then having them apologize to me. At least they apologized to me. They didn't a couple of other times. Like one, one time, it was like 6 in the morning I hate, I hate that, that's the way that shit's done, but they're like white blood cells in a system. Let's say society, let's say civil, uh, society, society is like a being, and then the police are basically the white blood cells. The white blood cells just go and they attack and they do their fucking shit, and they uh, can sometimes even attack uh, the cells of the body. Um, that, that's basically what the police are. It's like a system, it's like a person running on uh, a system. And they're not, we're all still human, but when when you put people in positions of power, and when you put people in uh, situations where they're allowed to use that power, they will use that power. And all of this shit is just written on pieces of paper, and like, there's just money behind it, but then... But in the end, we all die. So I see. I I really don't know why all of these systems work. I actually don't know how these systems work. I think they work because they've been going on for hundreds of years. And for Pete, you're born into it. You get a job, and then you do that fucking system, and you add to the society, and then shit fucking happens. To you. It's it's all a big system, and uh, it's it's strange how everything works. But it kind of works in in, in the UK. Like. Uh, like, I can fucking sit here and talk on a fucking iPad and the likelihood of me getting stabbed in the fucking face or having to uh, fight off a group of fucking people is uh, low. But it still happens. The likelihood of me cream pieing everyone that I want is zero. Is zero. The likelihood of someone hearing me be a dirty little cunt on my fucking videos, Platycast, like and subscribe, is very high. Especially because I upload it to YouTube. No, actually, it, it isn't high because no one ever watches my fucking videos. Some rickety stuff. I wish I was born in a billionaire's family. But then you'd never hear me ever. I'd be having too much fun doing some bullshit and arguing with Papa. Papa, can I please? Papa, Mama. Can I please have my allowance of £50,000 this week? No. You've already been given £50,000. Rats! They caught me! I've been addicted to heroin the whole time. I've been spending 50, 50k on heroin. And travelling. You can imagine that. I don't want to be like uh, the Rothschilds or... Like, no one ever talks about the Rothschilds. I've only ever had a conversation with one guy about the Rothschilds like, very lightly. And, uh, look at all these conspiracies and families and things. It doesn't even matter in my life. What matters in my life, to me, I know learning. Learning is probably the only thing that matters in my life at this point. 
learning about new stuff and because I don't really enjoy living. That's the sad truth. If I had, yeah, but then again, that's my fucking egos and wants in life. My wants to be something, but I'm not. My wants to want stuff that I can't have. And there's no point of wanting, because wanting doesn't automatically give you that fucking shit. And I also change, so my wants change as well. I've actually been working on, on that and understanding. I've got my own fucking religion, guys. Fuck Buddhism. And I can't say fuck any of the other ones because then people are going to get mad at me. I, I respect people's religions and life and whatever, but if I'm in a fucking fight with you and we're clinching up, you're going to be hearing in your ears every single dirty fucking thing I can think about. <laughs> Pray. Uh, right after the fight, everyone's going to be talking about me like I'm the worst. And then they're going to remember me over everyone else. Be the worst person in the world, and everyone will remember you. That's it. All of these great dictators and people, they're the most disgusting, horrible people in the world, and they're remembered over the nice people. What's the reverse of Hitler? The guy who gave all of the money to everyone uh, that ever needed it and uh, worked his whole life for other people. Uh, you never, you don't know that guy. No one knows that guy. That guy died probably at the exact same time as Hitler, like, except from a heart attack. No one knows that fucking guy. They, they probably had a, I don't know if they enjoyed it or not. Everyone has their own life that they're living and their own experiences. That's strange. That's so strange, isn't it, when you actually think about it. Like me. You never know what's in my head and what I'm going through and what I'm doing, what I want, and what I do in life. You, you only see me and see how I act and uh, see the things that I, I do in life. And you might meet me in the future, but I'm not a, the ver same version that is talking right now. I'm uh, progressed and degressed and changed. I might stay the same character and have some of the same characteristics, but I, I'll definitely change by the time I meet some of the fans that watch me, or some of the people. Eesh. My back cracks like uh, the vertebrae. The juice between the vertebrae pops when I move. I need to stretch my back now every fucking time before I, I do any exercise. I need to stretch my whole body. Stretching is so fucking good. Stretching is actually amazing. You don't want to stretch too far because you pull the shit out and you'll tear shit. But stretching is amazing. It's one of the best advices for any anyone doing any exercise at all, whether you're an athlete or an amateur or just trying to get some exercise before and after every workout. You've got to do a stretch, at least a little stretch. And uh, you don't want to pull anything. You really don't. It sucks. It sucks. I've got a perfect body. And I've got the best genes uh, in England, so I don't have to worry about that. I never actually stretch or warm up. I do like Robbie Lawler. I just run into every situation cold, cold and stiff, and then my body just starts warming up. <laughs> it cracked. I go, I go and do like a physical in a hospital, and they're like, "How is this man still together? He's being held together by Oreos and..." Uh, what is that? Has has he been eating glue? And I've been eating, like, uh, mayonnaise. And that's been holding all my bones and everything together. I've got, like, uh, well, what, what is it? Uh, glass line fractures. What, what, are, what are, the, what's the name for the thing? Where, you, where you, you have, you, it's not broken, but there's a really thin crack. And, like, the next time you, like, smash your fucking shit, everything just breaks. I've got Mr. Glass shit. Did you, like, uh... Uh, I, I like, uh, who's the fucking guy? Shamalama. Um, who's, who's the guy who di directed that film? Glass. Um, bruh. Unbreakable. 
Shamalama. M. M. Night Shamalama Ding Dong. That's his fucking name. I like that director. He made some uh, pieces of shit. He made some stuff which didn't hit. I'm not gonna say. Uh, I, I just said it's a, pe a piece of shit. He made some stuff which isn't like a uh, mainstream good, which isn't like big, like he has the ability to do. I've seen most of his films. Lady in the Water kind of hit uh, like a uh, British uh, TV drama, and then I, I, it's like a little bit of uh, high fantasy or low fantasy. Uh, it didn't really hit. Um, what, what, did he do one, The Visitors, where the people broke out of the mental hospital and they like killed the uh, kids' grandparents and like pretended to be their grandparents or whatever? That that was kind of or or well, it was sh shot well and acted well, but it, it just didn't hit. Uh, the Last Airbender had some interesting stuff, but it, putting that whole animated series, that classic, into uh, one film is impossible. Unless it's like a five hour long film, and that's not gonna happen, so that didn't do as well, it, it did shit. It has some good visuals in it, though, well. and it, it got the characters. Um, so uh, I don't know, I haven't watched that in ages. This is just, this is just me talking about uh, M. Night Shyamalan and Ding Dong. Uh, the village kind of felt a, a little underwhelming in uh, some places. The story is, uh, like the concept's cool, but underwhelming, in my opinion. And uh, some of the films that I love that he made, Unbreakable, that's like uh, amazing. Uh, was it Glass? Was that his last one of a trilogy? And then Split. Split's one of my favorite films of all time. Uh, Who's who's the guy who uh, was had a multiple personalities disorder? Um, Mac 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 no Mac Free. John McAfee. No, that's who he was. Uh, I'm fucking done. 22 minutes is enough of my time. I think people are... The, the thing that's strange in this world is I want to I wanna fight people. But the problem with that is the police are always involved with fights. So I have to fight people legally. And then, even, even with me, even if I had scars on my face and I uh, was the biggest guy in the world, there'd still be idiots trying to start fights with you. That's the problem with this world. Like, I like fighting, but I like fighting with people who don't want to try and kill you. But then again, I, who gives a fucking shit whether I live or I die? And and then and then it's also funny to see people like uh, try some shit, <laughs> like uh, like a uh, young kid, like a young guy walking up to you and saying, "Oh, yeah, give me all your fucking money," or some fucking bullshit like that. And then you like beat the shit out of them. That's always fun. I think it's always fun to uh, it's always fun to turn people around like just see see how they change see see like uh, hope uh, dissolve and see see all of their uh, ego just fly away see all of their uh, well what is it enthusiasm their drive to steal that fucking shit, to show to show them, real life isn't them coming up and. Well, I mean, they could do it to a weak person. If someone was attacking like a weak person, a weak person would fucking be a perfect target. But you, you can't underestimate some people in this world. I'm, ta I'm, I'm talking to criminals now. Don't ever underestimate anyone, seriously. Whether they're big or they're small, any anyone in this world can fuck you up. It doesn't matter if you have a knife or a gun. Your, the chances of you uh, getting money from someone if you have a gun is uh, probably very high. But if you, have an, if you have a knife and you're getting close to someone, there, there's always a chance that you're going to get that knife taken off of you and stabbed up your own a ass. Be very, very careful with people. You have, to, you have to be a certain kind of person to want to be stealing from people. 
I'd fucking do that shit. I don't want to go for, like, uh, the small fry. I want to go for, like, drug dealers and people like that. But the problem with that is it's, it's my life. Like, if I, if I go into a, a drug house and I start doing some chopper read fucking bullshit, and I'm going to get fucking... I'm, I don't even know how he didn't die. I don't know how some of these, like, legends of London and uh, tough guys get born. I don't know how they fucking live because they keep on talking, some of them keep on talking about how they have survived constant um, assassination attempts and all this shit. And it's so interesting, but it's, I don't know if I want to do that with my life. I think I'm happy, like, uh, training. I'm actually fucking not happy. I wish I had money right now. What the fuck am I talking about? I'm, I'm, I'm doing, like, some beta code bullshit. I would risk my life for money right now. Right now. If someone, if someone had a knife, if I was like a guy with a knife and he had a briefcase full of a hundred thousand pounds right now, I would fucking risk my life for that money right now. And some people might say that's stupid, but you, you don't know my mentality and my drives and my life. Maybe it's absolutely, maybe you haven't thought that it's necessary for me to live to be able to do that. And I'll commit suicide if I don't prove to myself that I'm at a, standard where I can disarm someone and take money from them. I feel, the, the problem with that though is like, I'm not trying to be tough and like, uh, talking, talking is never tough. You got to always back it up. That's why McGregor and people, uh, Charles Son and people like that are good because they can actually back it up and beat the fuck out of you and, and talk right in your face while they're beating the shit out of you as well. I love, I love that shit. I'm not, I'm not really a fan of being on the receiving end of that, but I love joking around and stuff. So uh, keep it fun. Keep it professional and fun, but I can't even be bothered to talk. I, I, I never want to sound tough. I never want to, I don't want to be a tough guy because tough guys get shot, uh, stabbed and stomped and shot in the face and stuff. I, I want to be in the fucking shadows. Like, you never fucking see me. I take my money and I'm fucking gone. But then again, I'm trying to do this social media shit as well. Fucking how long? 27 minutes. I'm fucking out of here. Give me some fucking money, please. I want to buy pizza. I haven't had pizza in so long. I'm so fucking starving. I'm hungry. I'm forcing myself to go to a gym and train and I absolutely love it. It's like the only thing in life one of the only things that I fucking love doing because everything else is just out of reach. Just a, a step out of reach always. But uh, this isn't. This is actually something that I can do in my fucking life and actually be around people and socialize and shit, which I fucking love and I need in my life. Or I'm going to turn into like some sort of mental disorder like my sister or like my family. It doesn't run in the family. If, if I'm donating uh, sperm to anyone, it doesn't run in the family. Ha, ha, wink, wink. No, not in me, anyway. But it, it, I think uh, insanity actually does run in the fucking fa No, 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 I can't say that. Come on. People aren't going to fucking be DMing, creeping in my DMs if I start talking shit about my genetics. I've got the best genetics in England. Fuck. Okay, I'm out of here. I, I want to train right now. I've just trained, like, for three hours. I've walked for fucking... So I, I want to train. I, I want to train until I die. Come on. Gypsy Crusader forever.